This might just be the ultimate snake machine. This is the Nokia 8210 4G, a new addition to Nokia's original series. These are a retro-modern collection of phones that are inspired by Nokia's of the past. And when the original 8210 came out, it was actually a device that was pushing boundaries in how compact you can make a phone. You see, back then, the smaller you can make a device, the more technologically advanced it is. As opposed to today, where a huge display and the largest collection of features differentiate the best from the rest. So this new 8210 isn't a natural evolution of its ancestor, but more of a device in a completely different class and category. And I actually really like the hardware design here. It's very minimalistic with clean lines and no unnecessary design elements. It sits very comfortably in the hand and it feels light and durable. And the matte plastic finish is soft to the touch. This weighs the scale at just over 100 grams, which is about half the weight of your average smartphone these days. And the color I have here is called sand, but you can also get the device in a blue or red, but I actually really like the sand color here and I think it looks pretty cool. And the same focus on practicality can be seen on the rest of the hardware. The screen, for example, is a fairly large 2.8 inch display, which is quite easy to read and comes with a few accessibility options so you can make the font larger, for example, or the interface even more simple. The D-pad is incredibly comfortable to use and the t9 keypad with its island style keys is very nicely spaced out and offers excellent tactile feedback using my super scientific snake test which is now considered the new industry standard for testing keypads out playing on this is a breeze the 8210 comfortably scores an a plus in this regard and is now my go-to device for breaking snake records at the top there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a flashlight while the bottom houses the micro USB port for charging. And once again, I find myself wishing for USB-C here. The right and left sides of the 8210 are flat and the waistline measures at 13.8 millimeters. This might sound like a lot compared to your average smartphone, but it really doesn't feel like it at all in the hand because the back is curved and that hides some of the bulk. On the rear of the device is a single loudspeaker and a VGA camera. This is an incredibly basic camera with a tiny resolution, so don't expect to capture memorable moments with this thing. And the back plate is removable, featuring a 1450 milliamps battery inside. For a feature phone, this is a pretty good capacity, and Nokia is saying you can get up to 20 days of standby time if you're using dual SIM cards. I don't know about that, but I think getting just over 10 days shouldn't be too unrealistic. For voice calls, Nokia quotes over six hours of talk time, which sounds about right. Under the battery are your dual SIM card slots and a micro SD slot to expand on the memory. And you can use memory cards of up to 32 gigabytes, which is quite important considering the device only comes in with about 128 megabytes of built-in storage. In terms of software, just like the Nokia 5710 that I recently covered, the 8210 4G also comes running on Nokia's S30 Plus operating system. And their software experience is pretty much identical. You get a home screen which shows you all your important notifications, as well as shortcut keys, and you can use the D-pad to access apps pretty quickly. These are all customizable, so you can choose which key takes you into which app based on your own requirements. The menu is a 3x3 grid view, but you can change it into a list view or make it even more simple by having one icon per screen. The interface is pretty speedy and almost everything opens instantly, which is something that I like about this operating system. Unfortunately though, you're limited to all the apps that come pre-installed, as there's no official app store for it. The built-in apps are Call History, Contacts, Gallery, Music Player, Opera Mini Web Browser, Messaging App, Camera, Facebook Web, Snake, FM Radio, which also works wirelessly by the way, Video Player, Calendar, Voice Recorder, Alarm Clock, and a File Manager. There are also a couple of pre-installed games and some utility apps such as a converter, a calculator, and a torch app. The 8210 4G can store up to 2000 contacts, and you can transfer your contacts from your Android device using Bluetooth. It also has Bluetooth 5.0 support so you can connect external earbuds to it and they shouldn't consume too much battery. It even supports 4G for both SIM cards and the ability to make voice over LTE phone calls, which sound absolutely fantastic on this type of device. 
So what are the things that the 8210 doesn't have or can't do? It doesn't have Wi-Fi, so to access the internet, you'll need to use the data that you have on your SIM card. There's no Wi-Fi hotspot feature here, so you can't share your internet connection to a smartphone, for example. There are no music streaming apps available for it, such as Spotify. And finally, there's no WhatsApp client for it. So that's the Nokia 8210 4G. It retails for around $65 depending on where you live. And it's a great simple feature phone for you to get off the grid if you want to, or to use as a secondary device. It should also work quite nicely for a loved one who requires a very simple feature phone that's quite easy to use and doesn't wanna deal with the complications of a modern day smartphone. For me, it's a fantastic snake machine or for going camping or to the gym. So what do you all think of this one? And which features do you think Nokia should add to its S30 Plus operating system in order for it to be more compelling? Share your thoughts with me in the comments. I would personally love to see a more advanced take on the feature phone, pretty much something that would compel me to leave my smartphone at home. I honestly feel like our social media obsessed lifestyles has negatively affected my mental health. It's just that I don't think I'm ready to let go of it just yet. If you like the idea of the Nokia 8210 4G, but want something similar with a very cool party trick up its sleeve, check out my Nokia 5710 video. Or check out my latest video here. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.